Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center, and this week on Nature to Go, we're heading out to the prairie. Have you noticed how purple it looks out on the prairie right now? Yeah, there's a lot of different purple colored flowers that are blooming. But we're going to talk about what all those different purple colored flowers are. Our first plant is probably the most abundant out in prairies right now, and that's bee balm. It's also known as wild bergamot or monarda. This isn't just attracting bees, but butterflies like to come to this. Birds will come and eat the seeds after the flowers are gone. The plant has a minty scent to it, and people would use the leaves to make teas. All right, next we have what's called purple prairie clover. These tend to grow in clumps, and it has a very strong taproot. This is an important food source for insects. They use all the nectar, the pollen, they'll eat the leaves, they'll even go after the seeds. And a lot of herbivores like this plant too because it's a very protein-rich plant. Do you recognize this one? Yep, this is milkweed. This particular one is common milkweed. And then we also have a swamp milkweed here. And they're kind of more pinky purple, but they're still part of the prairie right now. They have a wonderful fragrance. They're one of the best smelling flowers that we have out on the prairie. Now, the leaves are important for monarchs because it's what the eggs are laid on, the only food that the larva will eat. But we find lots of different kinds of insects that come to the flowers and will pollinate them. All right, this next one is one of my favorites. This is a tall spiky plant. And if you crush the leaves, it smells like black licorice. This plant is Anis hyssa. It's an important plant for pollinators, not just bees, but also butterflies. Hummingbirds will come to this plant. And if you touch the leaves on this plant, it's very soft. Another spiky purple plant is this one, Blue Vervain. It's been used medicinally in many parts of the world for forever, practically. It's been used to treat fevers, headaches, coughs, used to stop bleeding, used for women's problems, kind of like a pharmacy, all in this one plant. This is prairie onion. It's not a tall plant, but if you break off one of the stems, yeah, you can tell this is onion. It has a very distinct oniony smell. And our last purple prairie plant is called lead plant, also nicknamed devil's shoestrings. It kind of looks grayish now because it started to fade and lose its color. This is an important host plant for butterflies and moths. It was called the devil's shoestring because it has a very extensive root system. And when settlers were trying to plow the prairie, they'd run into the root system of this plant and it caused all kinds of problems. So enjoy the purple flowers of the prairie. Thanks for stopping by and we'll talk to you again next time on Nature to Go.